More federal help could be on the way for Vermonters hit by flooding. Thank you for joining us at 6. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kat Villianzoni. We've shown you the scenes of devastation of ravaged roads and communities underwater. Now today, the nation's top transportation official was here to see it firsthand. And our Calvin Cutler was with Secretary Pete Buttigieg today and joins us live from Berlin tonight. Calvin, what was his big takeaway? Well, two things, Darren. Number one, the need to invest in more resilient infrastructure in the face of climate change. And the second thing, the Vermonters' ability to work together through this crisis. Flanked by Governor Phil Scott and state and federal lawmakers, U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg assessing the damage of last week's floods. It's a reminder of the extreme nature of the weather events that are happening more and more often and the human impact. Of, uh, of what happens. Led by a state police convoy, leaders stopped in Montpelier, Barrie, and in Hardwick, looking at a hotel that washed away, and at a new section of the Lamoille Valley Rail Trail, which completely collapsed, just weeks away from opening to the public. Governor Phil Scott thanked first responders and the feds. We have a long road ahead, and we'll, but we'll get through it uh, with the help of the federal government, um, and the, the Biden administration has been really, really essential and very cooperative in trying to send the message to us that they're here with us. Climate change is causing more frequent and intense severe weather. This is the second so-called 100-year flood in the last 20 years. Buttigieg says the U.S. needs to begin rethinking how and where we rebuild. Look, we can't go into, a, into the future it, requiring communities to put everything back exactly the way it was if a 100-year flood is about to become an annual event. During Irene, the federal government sent Vermont some $180 million to rebuild. Buttigieg says the PROTECT project, funded through the Inflation Reduction Act, will provide grants for rebuilding roads and bridges, and do it in a way that's resilient to floods and storms, similar to how we rebuilt after Irene. And the idea of programs like PROTECT is to build smarter and to prepare this infrastructure for the future. We still don't know the total cost of this damage, but the state of Vermont will likely have to pay a match for FEMA funds. The top Senate appropriations chair says Irene happened at the end of a recession, and our state reserves are now in a better place. So our budget situation is, um, was not um, as robust as it is today. We've made a real effort to get our fiscal house in order. Now, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders also met with President Joe Biden late this afternoon regarding the flooding here in Vermont, and he thanked the administration for its help. Uh, the president also told Sanders that he should reach out if Vermonters run into issues receiving aid from the federal government. For now, reporting live in Berlin, Calvin Cutler, Channel 3 News. Calvin.